guys, it's me Watch J4 here. Welcome on in ladies and gentlemen, and today we're back into the bit of the playthrough of GTA 5 City, the Definitive Edition. So yeah, we're continuing from where we left off of GTA 5 City. So in the last playthrough of GTA 5 City, the Definitive Edition, we were helping out Avery Carrington, and now we're going to help out with Cortez. We are. Since we are not far with Cortez, and... It looks like we could definitely use a bit of help from him, since apparently... If I needed to talk to Cortez, you would be over at the boat, where we were at the party. And we are not that far from the boat, since we are over here. It's right down here. Down at Pier 2. Right here. Here we go. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this. Go and kill Gonzalez. So we officially got a little chainsaw, which will come in nicely. And I'm going to switch cars since this one is a lot more faster than that. And also, um, what was it? That chainsaw, and also there was going to be a hidden section that was also going to be used in this game, but for some reason they cut it out right at the last second. And that was, there was a scene from the film Scarface, where I think in like one of the scenes in the, in the film Scarface, where I think it was, oh, I've forgotten his name of, the main character in Scarface, but um, there's a scene where they're in the shower and one of his friends was easy getting butchered up with a chainsaw. And funny enough, a lot of this in Vice City is quite inspired from Scarface it is, since it is in 1986 and it's set in the same city as Scarface, which is Miami. And here we are at the building. Right through here. Get him quick. Get out of here. No. Get back here. You can't run forever. Oh, sweet Jesus. I've wasted my life and my looks. You did. For spinning out the deal. Get back here, Gonzalez. It's easier to jump. There we go. Got them. That was easy. The fire seat appears police on to me. Let's go, quick. Go to pain spray. That will get rid of us quicker. We're just all the way through here. When you do it for the first time, they won't charge you, which will be free when we go in. They really need to sort out the garage animation sound because it keeps going ding, ding, ding. When in the original it just goes ding. When it goes down, not ding, ding, ding. Like it is. Casual outfit delivered. So we officially unlocked a casual outfit we did. And of course we lost the cops we did. After killing off Gonzalez. After spinning out the deal. I have to pay Go Cortez a little visit again after doing that little deal. And hopefully he will give us more info along the way as to what caused all of this. And hopefully we can get this little stunt done. Since we couldn't do it in the last video. And it's a biggie. Look how big that stunt was. 
Yes, we did it. We got two hundred dollars and a tiny bit of cash here. Yeah. After running over that lady. So I'll go paying Cortez a little visit. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Grab your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. Meet the carrier at the mall. Okay, so it looks like we need to meet this so-called carrier. Which I think he has something to do with Cortez. For this little deal with the carrier he has with him. Whoever this carrier is. And the carrier is not really that far. If I need any weapons, visit the ammunition store. Okay, so we definitely need ammunition. A.K.A. more weapons than just a little pistol. Which we're going for the big guns we are. Which is in here. And luckily we're not that far to get in those little weapons. Got a pistol. Mac, definitely, yes. Shotgun, unfortunately I can't get that. Body armor, yes. And a little bit more ammo along the side. Which would be useful. Out we go. To do a drive by, hold circle or square to shoot okay so that's how to shoot i know that one for in future the blimp on the radar is a triangle pointing up this shows the target is higher than the player oh it does while he's inside the building right through here i see the carrier i see you She's très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Please, imperialist American pig. That is propriété de la gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot. Gonna have to kill him quick. That way he's going away. Get back here. That was easy. <laughs> Now we take out the bike. Take the guy's ships back to Colonel. Taking it all the way back to the Colonel now. Hard to procure our little carrier after being followed. Get back on the bike. Quickly. Even though they, the police said they may have to hunt us down. Since we're on the little runaway. To get those little chips back to Cortez. Luckily, we're not that far. Right through here. There, yeah, we made it. And we got $500 for that mission pass. And down goes the cop car. Don't know where that one's going. And it just crashed. <laughs> right away there. And it's smoking. And also, like, since I was telling you earlier with the animation sound for the pay and spray, there's also a broken sound for the chainsaw. That was, like, that sound, that was from the original when you go like this. But in this remaster, in the definitive edition, they kind of just ruined the sound for the chainsaw. Except from when you do this. Which, that was meant to be the sound for the original. And the remaster they should have done. Not this sound. This one. Anyways, let's get back to the colonel since he wants more. 
Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. The Colonel has arranged some firepower for me at the multi-story car park. Nice. So we got more firepower at the car park at the multi-story. And luckily the car park is not really far. For some reason Cortez is like putting easy locations for me to get over. Which I know obviously Vice City is not a big map but... But here we are. Found the weapon. Yeah. And who's this driving? Oh, it's Lance. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, that's getting his car. Go with Lance to the drop off and watch over Diaz. And funny enough, not only that um, this game has also been influenced a bit by Scarface, but also this game has also been influenced by a very old show called Miami Vice, which has one of the characters, well not one of the characters, but um, one of the actors from Miami Vice been put into this game, which was Philip Michael Thomas it was, where he voices Lance in this game. And I think Miami Vice is like decades old. Uh, I don't know how old it is now, but I know for a fact it's decades old. I think it's like 1970s or whatever. But it is like shows of how old it it is. And here we are with the deal. You must be Cortez's new gun until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Okay, let's go up. Okay, we're up. Watch over the deal, making sure Diaz and Lawrence are safe. Don't worry, we're making sure they're safe. I'm next in line, man. I see what they're doing. Oh wait, here they come. A little ambush. Kill them. Quickly. Take them all out, quick. Gotta help them, quickly. Get out of here. Give me all your weapons. Don't worry, I'll be coming over. Never mind, you got it. Great, now there's more here. Out you'll go. Well, it, that was easy for Diaz to take out. Now there's more here. Where's the NPC go? Oh wait, he went up there again to get Lance. Then mind you gone. Who else is missing? How is he still alive? Like he was hiding under there. But all of a sudden he was like still alive under there without even getting up. But luckily I got him. Let's chase him and get Diaz's own money back. He can't run forever. Get back here. There, got him. Got the briefcase. And now I'm going to have to take his bike since the other bike has tires burst. 
Wait, that one's first? What about... Okay, this one's fine. But the other one I shot was obviously bursted. Right, here we are. We got it. Oh, that was nearly perfect landing, that was. I Never mind. Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that Off goes Diaz. And Lance. And now we got over a grand for this mission pass. And let's go ahead and do the little phone booth, since I think with the phone booth, there's like special targets we can easily take out while we wait for another phone call, I think. And I think you do get like a sniper rifle within these little phone call side missions. Which I will say, these side missions are pretty good. They are. Right here. Oh wait, I got a phone call. Oh, it's Ricardo Diaz. Okay, let's go over to the phone booth. Call pe person pizza delivery man. Kill him before he completes his deliveries. Okay, so we gotta take out the pizza delivery guy we do. Before he even completes his own deliveries quickly. Why right over here. Gotta do it quick. Luckily he's not getting away that easily. Shoot him straight forward. Get back here. There, got him. He's on fire. Bye bye to that pizza delivery guy. And we got over $500. With his body nowhere to be seen. Unlucky for him. Okay, so that was another little phone call from whoever that was. I've forgotten his name after that first phone call. So yeah, we officially completed a bit of Cortez's own missions, and now we got a little Diaz. Ricardo Diaz we got next. To easy help out after helping him with his own deal. So yeah, we helped him out. We helped a bit with Lance out. And... Now we're going to record a Diaz, we do. But anyways, I'm going to end this little playthrough video right here. So I'm going to end the playthrough video right here. So um, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. It'll be really appreciated. And also follow me on Odyssey. It'll be really appreciated as well. And I will see you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs>